Good morning. I am just wanting to say happy holidays. I am not someone who celebrates this holiday, largely because I believe it is a holiday that symbolizes in every way colonization and commercialization of any and all days. And on our calendar, it's a way for someone to say, oh, it's time to go spend money. And, you know, and I find myself terribly uncomfortable with that because you go, you buy a gift for somebody. You don't even really know, are they going to like it? Do they want it? Do they need it? Is it something that's even appropriate? And, oh my goodness, if I get a gift, I'm really uncomfortable because I feel like I'm obligated to do something and I don't know what. And So, you know, Christmas for me is a holiday of of, of trouble. Now, and, and many of us, I, I grew up in a home where uh, it was used in a way like a weapon as it is set up to do, you know, if you're good, you know, if you're naughty and nice or whatever, you know, that, that, that depends on how you've been, you know, whether or not Santa's going to visit you, put a lump of coal in your stocking and, you know, and largely in my childhood, there were favored children and there were the unfavored children and any child who's here to expose the truth in family is not going to be the favored child. That would be me. At any rate, I have Sag Ascendant. So what, what do I do? I tell the truth as I see it and I get into trouble with people. People get mad at me. So I, I just wanna say that for those of you who are like me who suffer at the holidays because it's just never really been a good holiday for you, my heart goes out to you and I offer you my love. And I understand how painful this holiday can be because it is used like a weapon for people. So. I just want to say that. Now, I also want to talk about what's coming. Myself and my co-reader who are looking to pay for our programs, STA, uh, Medical Astrology School. We've been in school, both of us, for a while and we work exceedingly hard on this. But this is maybe the last stop in our, in our overall formal education. I suspect we will continue educating ourselves no matter what we do, but it'll change over time. And this is good. We want it to change over time. But these readings that we're doing are called nodal readings. And we go in and we look at your chart and determine based upon your nodes, what might be happening in your health. And we look at what's happening currently in a progress sense so that we are really up to date in where your chart's truly functioning at and how it's functioning. What is it making contact with? How is it making contact with other things? And are you in, in a situation where you might wanna look deeper? And so these readings are going to be, they're $50. They will provide you with an overview of your health and things to be mindful of. And we will be asking you at times to go see your physician because really that's where you're gonna get the confirmations of what's happening. So, you know, I would like for all of you to consider for $50 what a value that is. If you go into your doctor and you spend 15 minutes, you've definitely spent that $50, if not more. And this $50 will actually tell you what the doctor should have been telling you in the first place, what's really true for you. And so because astrology has not really been given the amount of weight it deserves, it's confusing to people and rightfully so. A lot of astrology, horoscopic and otherwise, is really not terribly good for us as people. Looking into the future creates anxiety. Looking in the past creates depression. And we're not taught in this sense to stay in the here and now and be present, which is what I'm trying to learn to do. But in our astrology, the here and now and the present has much to tell you. Where your planet of the year or your house and planetary energy for the year tells me a good deal about how you're feeling, where you're at, what you're going through. So do consider this is going to be done by two medical astrologers that have both gone to the Judith Hill program. We are both in the STA program. We both have invested ourselves deeply in herbal and, and other types of understanding. We practice astrology that is more of a classical nature. Myself, I do a good deal of divining. I use tarot, I use divination, and I use astrology to arrive at where I believe the story is taking me, which 
is amazingly accurate. I also provide one more thing that I want to talk about today. I provide a program or a process called tarot therapy. And what is that? Well, I go through our first meeting is going to be a natal chart. And I'm going to be looking at you strictly from a, an evaluation type of energy. I'm going to be evaluating the chart. I'm going to be evaluating you with the chart. These are recorded. They are made available to you uh, for a permanent record of our meeting. And these meetings can be weekly. They can be bi-weekly. They can be monthly. It doesn't really matter. They can be casual when you feel like it. But what I'm getting at is that a lot of times we go to a therapist and we spend years talking about our problems, how we feel, what's going on, why we feel the way we do, only to talk ourselves into what's really our tr true uh, way forward. So this is how therapy is designed to work. You talk, 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 talk. They listen. They're really professional listeners, okay, with some ability to provide you some guidelines. In this sense, what does astrology do? Well, when you are able to look at the archetypes and the nodes and the moons and the suns and various things that go on within a person's chart, you're very quickly able to determine what kind of emotional health as well as physical health problems they may have. And a lot of times there's just some simple little things they need, some simple truths that unlocks the shadow and creates healing. This is the beauty of tarot therapy. It is not something that I do myself. It is something that organically happens. So I would like for you to consider getting a telescope done. They're $120. They're worth every penny. And again, if you cannot afford services from us, we are going to be doing things on sliding fee scales. We are going to be looking at donating to a certain number of people. And so if you feel that's your category, please don't hesitate to check with us about a reading because that's the whole point of our, our, our process is we want you to have the access to what you need for your care, as many people at this time do not. So with that, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe and join me over on my YouTube channel where I struggle to grow, help me grow. And leave comments because it does help my algorithm. I don't really understand how it all works, but thank you so much for joining me here today.